Alright guys, I wanted to give you the latest update on the cooling system for these ant miners. I've had a lot of questions, I've had a lot of messages, you know, are they still running? How are they running? Well, let's show you a little video, give you a little update on them, and show you the difference. Alright, so let's look how quiet they are first. I mean, we're right around 60 to 61 decibels, which is amazing. These are pretty much silent. Um, and they're outside right now, too, so that's why the raining just by itself is a little bit louder. If we were to go over here, you'll see. We're about 10 decibels higher than being inside. Now let's take a look at the temperature of the chips and the oil. You see, we're directly on the heat sinks or air radiators with about 61 degrees, 62 degrees Celsius, even 50 in some areas. Everything is still running very solid. No de deterioration. Multiple units running. You guys hear how silent it is. I'm louder than the freaking... <laughs> than the coolers. Look at this one guys, 52, 51. Really, they're running absolutely amazing. I mean, this is the way to do it. If you wanna cool your ASIC mining unit, no matter which one it is, whether it's a Halong unit or a Bitmain unit, I mean, this is the way. So there's gonna be a specific model that we are building right now that's going to be very user friendly easy to move easy to access very stable and that will help you guys run your units inside without the use of hvac or any crazy crazy build outs all right so here's a quick little preview of the design that we think that we're going to head stick with heading into the future um this is a very compact mobile easy do-it-yourself version you see that you'll be using the same fans same radiators the same setup we just wanted to make it as compact and user friendly as possible you know there's such huge advantages to using the liquid cooled or immersion cooling um, you know you don't have to worry about humidity you don't have to worry about the heat you know it really really limits the hardware failure down dramatically and as we all know that is a huge problem in mining is just overall hardware failure so I wanted to show you guys this quickly before we move on to seeing the numbers of what we have it clocked at I believe it was around 668 frequency on one of them that we'll be showing you as well as some other frequencies as well trying to test and see what is better but afterwards we'll talk a little bit about payment how you guys can get this and what type of versions there will be available all right, so this one we're testing at about 14 and a half terahash. Each machine is different, um, but you see uh, it's been three days. These things are running and they're running great. I mean, the temp of the chip is really amazing. You can see that this is just working absolutely outstanding. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna put together a a set or a kit for you to be able to purchase to be able to do this yourself so you have all the parts be able to do it properly and get it done quickly instead of outsourcing and figure out in what works um, or we'll be able to do the whole unit for you so I know that there's a lot of speculation heading into the future about mining, you know, and if it's going to be profitable, say, for the individual user. You know, no one truly knows going into the future, you know, if it is going to be profitable. 
um, you know, at the numbers that we saw previously back in 2017, you know, the end of 2017 specifically. But, you know, if we look towards the future, if we see that the GMO miners that they just released that are doing close to 33 terahash and 22 terahash, I believe, you know, they're still using the open air ASIC design, you know, which prevents a problem for the home-based user or the individual user that wants to run one of these, two of these, or even three of these. So if we think that they have three of the B3 miners, you're running close to 100 terahash, but you don't want to have that hardware failure and you don't want to have huge build outs um, and you want to be able to keep it inside. And I think that this tackles all of those issues and all of those problems if the price does go up in the future. So we're still looking towards the future and we have high hopes for the future. So we're still planning for nothing but good to be the outcome. So the versions that will be available is that you can buy this fully assembled with an Antminer 14 terahash S9i inside of it. Um, or you guys can buy the bare bones kit which you can turn any of your ASIC mining units, whether it's a Dragon Mint or it is an Ant Miner, into this immersion cooler and do it yourself. It will come with all of the parts that are needed, that is including the fan module, the spacers for inside, um, and anything else that you'll need to take apart your Ant Miner S9 um, or whatever miner it may be and put it into this cooler. You know, and when it's in this cooler, you don't have to worry about the heat, you're not gonna have to worry about the noise, you're not gonna have to worry about the humidity, and your hardware failure rate is gonna go down substantially. So we're gonna be accepting Bitcoin and Ethereum because we believe that we wanna keep it in the community and we wanna grow the community. So that's gonna be our form of payments that we will accept. And we will keep you updated with a firm price. But if you want any more information right now, you can email me at minordigi at outlook.com. I'll put that in the comments. We can also create a bigger design for somebody that wants to do it on a commercial base or commercial use or that is looking to cool 10, 20, 30, 50, up to 100 ant miners. So if you need any more information, please send me an email. For now, I'm back to work. Guys, Digi out.